Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR 06. Today's episode, we're going to be heading out to whatever track this is. Oh, it's Richmond. Let's go head out to the Emerson 250. Greg Biffle is going to win the cup race at Dover. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, that's it. 26 top 10. <whistles> Holy moly. All right, folks. So we qualified on the pole here for Richmond. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, let's see how this one shakes out. The pit stop is going to decide the winner because whoever gets out front, um, it is going to be so difficult to run them down with lap down cars and everything. So the, the best way to win this race is just to get a giant lead before the pit stop. So after the chaos of it, you're still good to go. Brian Vickers making a dive bomb. Going to hit second in points, making him three wide. Since Edwards into the wall. What a crazy move by Brian Vickers there. And now, literally right on cue, we have a crazy lead. Let's see if it lasts. So what's interesting about the Bush Series, and I'm, I'm kind of noticing this, is the Bush Series has so many short track races. They have, what, two Richmond races, two Bristol races, two UPS Speedway races. Um, you have IRP, right? You have Milwaukee Mile. Okay, you got to add those. I don't consider Levi Strauss a short track, short track. I more or less consider that a hybrid, kind of like a Phoenix. And if you, if I, some people do consider Phoenix a short track, and if you do, there's two races there. There's no race at Martinsville, right? But it just, I don't know, there's feel like there, I feel like there's so many short tracks the, the Bush Series goes to in this playthrough. And, and to add comparison to that, the Cup Series, they have two at Richmond, two at Martinsville, and two at Bristol. Right? That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, so it is kind of interesting. Oh, a, a Rocket Ham. I forgot. They, um, the Cup Series don't run Rocket Ham because, you know, it wasn't on the schedule in 05. They do run Rocket Ham in the Bush Series. They run, they run one event there. So, Oh, Dodge Raceway, too. They have one event there as well, the Bush Series. So, so it, it's interesting. If you're a short track driver, if you just like the competitiveness of short track racing, the Bush Series is definitely for you. There is so many uh, flat short tracks in the playthrough. Um, they don't have a Sonoma. They don't have the Brickyard. They don't have Pocono like the Cup Series. But there's a lot of really good racetracks they still go to. We're just putting on a clinic right now. Two second gap. But this race is not over. Don't check out yet. Don't click off the video just yet. The pit stop is going to decide this winner. Um, I've had moments where we've had a great pit stop and we won the race easily. I've had moments where we had a horrible pit stop and second or third place are one to two seconds ahead of us. So this is the, the perfect example of don't count your chickens until they hatch. And right now, I ain't counting no chickens. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna run this thing out. And since we have two seconds le uh, lead right now, I want to make sure we get to the halfway point so we, we eliminate the idea of running out of petrol. I don't think we're going to run long here because I don't think a caution is going to come out, right? I don't think we need to run long and try to avoid a caution putting us a lap down. But I, I want to be on pit road without a thousand cars. So let's make sure we, we have enough fuel to get to the end of the race, which means pitting on lap 10 to make sure we have enough. So next time by... You should see some cars coming down the pit strip right now, and right there we go. And I'm glad we waited that lap because you see it just turned orange. So that I, when it turns orange, man, it gets sketchy because you don't know how much gas you got left till it turns red. This is a very early entry on pit road. You got to start early, or you're gonna miss it. Get it on pit road. Um, everything looks good. Let's just keep it how it is, guys. How y'all doing out there? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, fellas, if you haven't already. Having some Richmond short track racing. You know, I miss when the Xfinity Series used to run Friday night at Richmond twice a year. I, I miss that. I really do. I know I harp a lot about Richmond, but there was just something kind of cool about the Friday night uh, short track races the Xfinity Series used to have. They, they don't even race on Friday nights any, even more, e anymore. You know, when the trucks were off, they would have a Friday night ESPN event. It'd be cool to kind of see that back again. I think they do the Bristol night race on a Friday, but I can't remember any other race that was a, a Xfinity joint on a Friday night. I wish there was more of them, to be honest with you. All right, so 
past the halfway point. Lap 11 out of 20. Brian Vickers current, currently the, the race leader. How is this going to cycle out? Did someone get a miracle pit stop? Let's see. Oh, boy. Are we good? I think we're good, guys. Elliot Sadler takes the lead briefly. And we're going to get it back. How much time do we have? Okay, we have about a tenth of oh no, one second in the bank. Car feels pretty good. We got fresh good years. We pitted a little bit later than some of these guys. One lap, to be honest with you. Um, so that's going to pay a little bit of dividends early on, having those fresher tires. Uh, um, or I say later on, because their tires are going to wear just a, a little bit quicker than ours. But we're kind of pushing it right now just to make sure we get away from them in case we screw up like that. We kind of botched that exit. Regardless, though, domination. You know, Kansas won the last two races. Why not us? You know, it's like <laughs> it's like Raven in the uh, the WWF. It's like, why not me? Why not Raven? Or no, is it why not me? Or is it, I don't know, it's something like that. I'm just being goofy, guys. It's two in the morning. <laughs> oh, boy. I wonder how it goes. Is it, why not me? Why not Raven? That's how it's pretty much with Roush right now. It's like, why not us? You know, we haven't... They've done squat almost most in this entire playthrough. And then the 2009 season starts and they've won like 17 races. I mean, it's it, it's just ludicrous. Whoa! Lap down, car. What are you doing, jabroni? Are you kidding me? Bro, if I... Man, if I did not need a caution right now... Dude, we're about to lose the lead. Now I gotta go race Elliot Sadler. Contact there. That's 100% my fault. Trying to pin him down there and make contact. Trying to hold him off. That was 100% my fault, guys. Th this jabroni literally went to the apron to pass the race leader. If I needed a caution right now, I would go up there and try to dump him if I could catch him. That was really stupid. I hope we catch his car, because I'm going to nudge him up the hill. That was just beyond stupid. Running the leader like that. That is... That is not even professional. Like, I could get it if it's like 500 laps to go in the race. Maybe you race the leader a little bit harder so you can get that lap back. But I mean, like, with three to go, four to go, five to go, I don't care. That's stupid. Like, I could understand if it's like four or five hundred laps left in the race and you just want to lap down. I could understand racing the leader hard because, you, you know, you want to get that lap back as soon as possible, especially if you're multiple laps down. That's that just asinine to me. Anyways, lap 20 out of 20. We survived that. Sorry to bump an Elliott Sauer. That was my fault. It came down on him. Trying to race him hard. I should have just ran the outside and had a clean finish. But, hey, a W is still a W. Big win at Richmond. I'll take it, guys. Ooh, let's do a burnout. There we go. I apologize if you can't hear me because... I cannot turn down the Victory Lane audio. I literally have my music settings all the way to the bottom for the game. I have like all the other sound effects in this game borderline muted. The only thing I could do is manually adjust my audio during this portion. But the problem is I'm afraid if I do that, it's going to glitch it out because let's just say my Elgato likes to crash a lot. So if you heard any of that, um, maybe you'll understand. But yeah, my Elgato, it, it, it's 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 weird. Sometimes I can leave my computer on for 10 hours straight and it won't crash. And then sometimes I'll turn it on and literally within three minutes it crashes. I turn it on again, it crashes again. It does these updates, right? Like background updates. I don't even approve these updates and it updates things. And when it updates one thing, it makes something else obsolete and it crashes. I've had Windows 7 computers, Windows Vista computers. They never did any of this. It only started once they got a Windows 10, and they crashed like a son of a gun. I don't know. Maybe it's just I got a bad model. I don't know. I'm grateful to have it, but man, 
I have never had a computer in my entire life crash as much as mine does. And it has mood swings. It's weird, yo. It will... It, I can literally leave it on for 10 hours straight. And it won't crash at all. And in some days, it will crash every single time I turn it on within 3 minutes. And then if you try to update it to fix it, it crashes during the update. And then it, you have to do a total reset of the whole computer. So, it's... It is a bugaboo. Let's just say that. It's a bugaboo. Anyways, big win at Richmond. 4,700 prestige points will take it. I've noticed we haven't been really making a lot of rivals. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. So that is it for today's episode. The next one, we're going to be heading out to Dover for the Dover 200. The NASCAR Bush Series rolls on. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Diecast Buffet. Oh, here's the um, the playoffs, by the way, or the chase. Ken Ziff and Earnhardt got in, but quick biffle. Let's see how that shakes out, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, Terry Cook is your new points leader, by the way, in the truck series. Diecast Buffet, signing off.